Hey everybody, this is Brian, and welcome to the 99th Qt tutorial with C++ and GUI programming. Um, I'm going to have to apologize in advance if my voice sounds a little weird. I'm actually homesick today, um, but we're not going to let that stop us. I'm the type of person that just can't sit still, so I figured we'd do the 99th video, getting closer to that 100 mark. So today we're going to do static linking and static compilation. What is static? We We've talked about static compilation before with an exe, but we're going to do this from the context of a a library. We've talked about a dynamic link library. A dynamic link library means you can dynamically add that later. Well, what we're going to do is do a static library. And you notice how when you choose a C++ library, it gives you the option of a shared or a dynamic, which can be used with Q plugin loader, or a static. And we're going to do static. So choose, and see, we choose static library. And let's call this uh, statlib. Put this in the usual location. And just next, next, next. Now you notice how in our config file it says static lib. That right there tells you that it's going to compile this statically. Let's go ahead and give this a good build. All right, now let's open up our target here. You see how we have a lib statlib.a and then a dot o. Well, that a file right there, and it may be different on different operating systems, but in Windows, that right there is the binary that just got compiled. If you go into debug, I don't have anything in there, so we're in release mode. So now what we're going to do is we're going to actually use this. So let's go File, New. And let's see here. Let's just make a console application. And we'll call this Stat Test. I'm sorry if you can hear my cats in the background meowing. I had to lock them out or they'd be in here bugging the heck out of me. The last thing I want is a Cranky Pants and Catzilla in here bugging me while I'm trying to do this. So now we've got our just simple test app. And let's give this thing a good whirl. Now, nothing special about this app. It's just a normal console application that we've done before. What we're going to do now is we are going to modify this project file to include various aspects of this. So let's jump out here. And the first thing we want to do is get our header file, statlib.h. So let's just copy the path. Now what we need to do is very simple. We need to give it the include path and the headers. So let's see here. We'll say include path. Now we're going to want to switch these to a more cross-platform style. Um, I know it's kind of a, a misomer by being on Windows and then switching it to a cross-platform style. It just helps cute a little bit. And then we want to grab that lib location. We want the A file. I'm just going to say libs. And let's just fix these up real quick here. I've been working on the 100th uh, tutorial. It's actually going to be a fairly large one um, with a lot of detail. So um, thank you for kind of sticking around here. Oop, let me pause the video real quick. Sorry about that. One of the one of the convicts was breaking loose. Alright, so we're going to add an existing file and we just want to add that header, statlib. And we did make a boo-boo here with the include path. We don't want the H, we just want that. There we go. So real quickly, what we've done is we've said include path and we've given it the path to where our headers are going to be and we've given it a lib path, so we're actually 
linking to a library here and this is the A file and then when we added the header it went ahead and added statlib.h save that let it reanalyze the project here there it goes and then let's give it a good build make sure it builds correctly and you see we have no build problems so from this point what we can actually do here is start including give it another build just to make sure everything goes good now you may be wondering what's the big deal here what's going on well the thing is very simple we've got our library right here statlib and it generated that binary the A file that code is being statically compiled into our our program so we don't have to include a dynamic link library to kind of prove that let's just go in here and let's make a uh, a test function and let's just add a uh, include we'll add qdebug in here real quick and then let's say well you can tell I'm kinda rusty at these, haven't done a video in a while and for that I apologize alright we'll say qdebug Hello from the static library. We'll just say static lib for the sake of time here. So we've got this code that exists in our library. Let's actually give our library a good build here. Ooh, ooh. Forbids declaration of test with no type. Oh, yes. Told you it's been a while since I've done a video. There we go, so we've got a good build here. Now, if we jump into our our code here for our project, we can say statlib, clib, and let's just say clib, and let's call test. Compile and run. And you see when it runs, it says hello from static lib. Now, you're probably sitting here going, I don't understand. What's the big deal here? Well, in dynamic link libraries, you would have to distribute this application plus the DLL. And with a static linking or static library, it's included inside of the executable. So all you have to do is distribute this exe. The library is already included in there. So when you go to let's say you're the library author you want to distribute this you just simply give them the header file and that A file that we talked about earlier let's see if we can jump back out and find that this guy libstatlib.a the binary file so they don't actually see your code you could have a bunch of proprietary code in here in the implementation file but that's already compiled into a binary so you just give them the, the binary implementation and the header, and they can statically link it into their application. Well, that's all for this tutorial. Um, like I said, i got to apologize. It's been so long since I've done one of these. I've just been really busy with life and work and everything else. But uh, the 100th video is coming soon, I promise. All right, talk to you later.